How does sexual education influence the perception and experience of female orgasms? Is it true that mindfulness practice can improve connection during intimacy? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Comprehensive and accurate sexual education can demystify myths, empower women to understand their bodies, and foster a healthy attitude toward sexuality. Yes, mindfulness practice can improve connection during intimacy by increasing awareness of the present moment and reducing stress, facilitating a more satisfying and connected experience in sexual relationships. Pregnancy fetishism. Some people find sexual arousal in the physical and hormonal changes associated with pregnancy. This can manifest as increased sexual interest in pregnant women. Prevention and timely treatment are crucial for controlling the spread of sexually transmitted diseases. Awareness campaigns, access to sexual and reproductive health services, and sexual education are key components of efforts to address this public health issue. Primary prevention. In addition to using condoms during sexual intercourse, other primary prevention strategies include reducing the number of sexual partners and practicing sexual abstinence. Prolonging pleasure. Some people practice edging or delaying orgasm as a way to prolong sexual pleasure. This technique involves delaying ejaculation or orgasm as much as possible before allowing release which can intensify sexual satisfaction. Psychological effects. Orgasms release various chemicals in the brain, including dopamine and oxytocin, which can have powerful effects on emotions and the connection between sexual partners. Psychological origins. Fetishes can have different psychological origins, from early childhood experiences to subconscious associations developed over time. Some studies suggest that fetishes may arise as coping mechanisms to deal with anxiety or stress. Psychology behind fantasies. Sexual fantasies can play an important role in arousal and sexual satisfaction. They can help explore desires, experiment with roles and scenarios, and enrich a person's sexual life. Refractory period. Most men experience a refractory period after orgasm, during which they cannot have another orgasm. The duration of this period varies from one man to another and tends to increase with age. Regulation and access. Pornography is subject to various regulations and restrictions in different countries, affecting both its production and access by viewers. Relationship between sex and health. Sex can have numerous health benefits, including stress reduction, strengthening the immune system, and improving mood. Relationship with other sexual disorders. Erectile dysfunction is often associated with other sexual disorders, such as premature ejaculation or lack of sexual desire, which can further complicate a man's sexual experience. Relaxing effects. Orgasms release endorphins, acting as natural painkillers, which can help reduce pain, alleviate stress, and improve mood. This explains why many people feel relaxed and happy after an orgasm. Reproductive health. Sexuality is also related to reproductive health, which includes family planning, access to contraceptives, and prenatal care. Rhythm and speed. Varying the rhythm and speed of stimulation during foreplay can increase anticipation and arousal, creating a more dynamic and exciting sexual experience. Right side and left side. Some research suggests that people have preferences for the right or left side during intercourse, although the reason behind these preferences remains a mystery. Risks and injury prevention, lack of adequate lubrication, rough penetration, or the use of inappropriate objects can increase the risk of injuries. Taking precautions is essential to avoid problems. Role reversal. Some women enjoy taking on a dominant role in sexual positions, such as being on top or taking the lead in directing the action. In rural communities in India, theatrical performances and street plays may be conducted to educate people about sexual and reproductive health topics using participatory and culturally appropriate methods. 
In Middle Eastern countries like Qatar and Saudi Arabia, sex education is usually limited and based on Islamic values, with a focus on modesty and sexual morality according to religious interpretation. Screening tests. STD screening tests can be performed at health clinics, medical offices, and sexual health centers. And some STDs can also be diagnosed through home testing kits. Self-help. Techniques. In addition to medical treatments, there are self-help techniques that can help men manage erectile dysfunction, such as masturbation to maintain erectile function and the use of penis rings to maintain erection. Sense of responsibility. The ability to take on responsibilities and commitments in life, whether at work, in a relationship, or in the community, is valued. Sensory exploration. Foreplay involves a complete sensory exploration of a woman's body, stimulating not only obvious erogenous zones, but also less explored areas, such as the nape, toes, or lower back, which can be equally sensitive to touch and pleasure. Sex and aging. As people age, their sex life can continue to be satisfying. In fact, many older individuals report a more satisfying sex life compared to their youth. Sex and chronic diseases. Individuals with chronic diseases such as diabetes, arthritis, or multiple sclerosis can still enjoy a fulfilling sex life. Open communication with a healthcare professional is key to addressing concerns and adapting intimacy to individual needs. Sex and mental health. Mental health can affect sexual life. People experiencing depression, anxiety, or other disorders may undergo changes in sexual desire. Adequate therapy and support are essential. Sex and science. The science of sex, known as sexology, is a multidisciplinary field that explores human sexuality from a scientific perspective. Sexologists study a wide range of topics, from sexual anatomy to sexual therapy. Sex and dreams. Some people experience erotic dreams in which they engage in sexual acts. These dreams can be normal and reflect sexual desires or concerns. Sex in space. As space exploration advances, the question arises about how sex will take place in space. Microgravity conditions may pose unique challenges for sexual activity. Sex in the Middle Ages. During the Middle Ages, sexuality was influenced by religious morality and a lack of sexual education. However, erotic manuals and sexual practices also existed. Sex toy museums. In some cities around the world, there are museums dedicated exclusively to the history and evolution of sex toys, exhibiting a wide variety of artifacts and devices over time. Sexting phenomenon. Sexting, or the exchange of sexual or erotic messages via electronic devices, is an increasingly common practice among young people, although it can also pose risks to privacy and safety. Sexual disorders. Sexual disorders, such as erectile dysfunction, anorgasmia, and hypoactive sexual desire disorder, can affect a person's ability to enjoy sex and may be caused by physical, psychological, or a combination of both factors. Sexual diversity. Human sexuality encompasses a wide range of sexual orientations, including heterosexuality, homosexuality, bisexuality, and pansexuality among others. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.